Hello and welcome back. Hey, my name's C. Scott, and today we're on FTB Revelation. And this is the first episode that I've done that's not been an actual a live stream. And, and the reason why we're doing that today, I want to show off some things. I want to do something with y'all. And what we're going to do is, is I'll uh, 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 give it to you here in just a second. But if, if you haven't seen the live streams, we've done about six or seven, maybe eight of them now. And we've done, the last one we did was we built this huge canola farm and we got ourselves power production. And so if you want to see how we do that, go check that out. Um, and it's it's pretty complex here. Uh, not really, but I mean, this thing filled this little energy cube up in almost no time flat. So super, super cool. But what we're going to do today is I'm tired of eating these stinking little berries. Now I've got a nice, nice little plot of them up there and I have some back over here. But they're just not very good. Not at all. And I'm tired of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually, we're going to, we're going to create and, and uh, we're going to make something. And I'm not a big fan of Pam's Harvest Craft. Never got into it, never dealt with it very much. So, but we're going to get into that. And we're also going to get into cooking with blockheads. Uh, and I've got us a new building. And in this building is going to be food production. And what's our food production going to be? Well, we're going to start by making hot dogs. And then we're going to take those hot dogs and we're going to turn them into chili dogs, which are these guys right here. And you say, my say, why are you doing chili dogs, stinker? Well, because it gives you 12 haunches and 28, uh, yeah, uh, saturation, right? That's what we're going to do. I don't know. It's a goal. I want to try it. Okay. And the other reason why we're going to do a lot of this and I'm doing it this way is because I needed the time to think. <laughs> I really needed the time to think in here today. So we're going to put cooking and blockheads here and everything else. Give you guys a little a little show here. I found two t pups running around, so they're now with us. And I found us a cat and an ocelot. And so, but he's now a cat. So it's all good. We're getting a nice group of friends around here because we just kind of play alone by ourselves here on the FTB1 server. Uh, FTB Revelations is if your first time watching it is uh, is still beta testing and that's what we're currently doing for them right now and so we kind of have some early access to it but L hot dog okay we're gonna try to automate this as much as we can where we're currently at in game so at uh, cooking with blockheads is gonna be we're gonna do some of this here and then we're gonna do some farmers so the first thing we want to do is let's get some farmers set up and the farmers we're gonna set up I've got right here okay and a farmer is gonna look nothing more than like this uh, farmer okay and we're gonna use the actually additions one so looks pretty easy uh, we'll take our crafter on a stick and we need th uh, in right uh, well okay that shouldn't be too bad we'll come back over here to our atomic reconstructor We'll throw that in there right there, pop that like that, boop, and away we go. So now we've got uh, we've got our blocks, and we can go ahead and craft those up. Boom. All right, three farmers. Now these farmers are going to go right in here each. Uh, this one's going to go right here, and I would like to set it right here. Okay, just the like of this right here. Boom. And then we're going to do this one over here, right here and this one over here right here and so the three things that we need to grow is wheat onions and beans and so i've got wheat onions or beans and onions okay and uh those we've got from uh these little gardens that have been running around here so some shaded gardens i found some tropical gardens i've got some wind gardens and i've got uh i don't know i got cold weather gardens here so frost gardens so we've got all those and I finally have gotten to the three things I need on this side we're gonna do wheat over here over here we'll do beans and on the other side we'll do the onions okay and they'll all collect in here uh, but because we're using actual additions we're gonna use these worms now this should be these worms will do a three by three area but I want to keep it at five here so we'll just go one and please do your job there's two three and uh, four okay and then we should go here and here and with this we said we're going to do wheat 
So let's just throw down some wheat here. And it doesn't really matter. I just want to get it all in the ground here. Uh, what does cause me some concern here is when we do this with uh, there and a here. Oh, shoot. I messed that guy up. Uh, I've got one more worm somewhere. So we'll have to go get him. But we'll, I'll get that here later. Okay. There and there and in here we're gonna do the beans and what I'm a little concerned about as we do these is, is that, that we're gonna to have to recraft them I'm not far enough to have automatic crafting yet so we'll have to we'll have to kind of fix that as we go here there and we'll just place him shoot I did it again oh well okay here we go uh, but what we could do real quickly here is we can take some of this eight fertilizer we've got and just pop these guys off as quick as we can there's another 15 boom okay cool right and we'll just get these planted in here wherever we can go there we go and those will grow fairly quick and easy all right that's done so we've got those out there we're gonna need to hook them up with power and do I have uh, do I have any stuff on us in here nope I don't so it's all in here is what we need uh, in here, I've got nine leadstone f ducks. Uh, we'll grab another worm here. I think I might have some worms, other worms around here somewhere. If I don't, I'll just go and get some. It's, it's not too horribly bad to get them. But let's plant this guy over here. And so you guys see this stuff starting to work now. It looks pretty good. Uh, that's working good. And I messed him up, and I want to place him there. Okay, so we need to add some power to this. Uh, I've run pipe all or uh, some leadstone flux duck, flux duck all the way over here, and underneath here is the kind of the second piece of all of this. So underneath here, we're going to also need pigs for the hot dogs and cows for the chi and cows for the chili. And so we'll f we'll make a way that we can actually kind of slaughter those guys up down here pretty nice and and cleanly so that we're not dealing with it too bad but so the first thing we want to do here is is we'll uh, I'm gonna remove this and let's come down here and there perfect okay uh, we'll do one more too and what we do is we just go ahead and connect it up here there and here okay so this should be getting power I hope <laughs> uh, maybe we'll, I'll, let me we'll, we'll get it all hooked up and then I'll make sure we're getting power to it we should be getting it unless uh, crystal flux doesn't go through that and then that's probably a bad news thing so if not I've got another solution we can do uh, but what we'll do next is we're gonna get this stuff we'll, we'll pipe it all in here in a bit but let's start getting up here done with some cooking with blockheads so at uh, cooking with L blockheads so my understanding is with this I've never used it never looked at it never even really thought about it until I started looking and a lot of people are doing it now and I was like well let's just do it so we're gonna start with the cook cooking table okay the cooking table is just gonna be stone terracotta and it's cooking for blockheads two, which is cooking for blockheads one to make that we got to throw a book through some sort of smelting so I've got a book right here and we'll go throw it through the smeltery here real quick uh, which is this and voila this will come out why well, this is the engineers work engineers uh, I can tell you specifically the engineers workshop reborn I absolutely love that mod uh, very very nice for early game uh, but let's go ahead and pull out this and this uh, along with the stone and the terracotta and now we can craft this up so we'll need two crafting benches Ooh, I mean it been more than I needed but that's okay it's not a big deal uh, here and here and then the diamonds and so now we got cooking for block it's two uh, surround that with terracotta and stone and now we have our cooking table so the cooking table is gonna go right here uh, second thing let's do an oven okay the oven is gonna be no more than black stained glass stone and iron and that is all right here and here we go so we've got uh, let's make our stone furnace first 
and now we'll surround it with iron and we'll throw the top with the black stained glass now we have one oven and the oven's actually going to come over here and we're going to place him right here okay uh next let's do the sink the kitchen sink uh well, it's not really the kitchen sink but just a sink uh the iron water bucket and some terracotta so it's all of this stuff right here and we'll just craft it up like a like a like a this really easily okay there's our kitchen sink and i say kitchen sink but it's just a straight sink okay perfect okay next we want to do l l some sort of fridge so that one's pretty easy that's going to be just this and this and we can do it this way uh, i'm just gonna make a chest okay and then i'm gonna make some sort of iron door and this should work just like that so now i have one fridge now it should be multi-parted so i'm probably going to need to do another one of those which isn't too bad because we can do that again and just like that iron doors it makes it really nice with that so there we go so now we got a fridge we have water we have a stove and we have um our cooking table well, this is great looking and everything, but let's kind of finish it off. It's kind of plain Jane. So we're going to add a couple more pieces to it. The next thing we do is these kitchen counters. Okay. And that looks just like this. So the kitchen counter stuff we've got right here, which is going to be stone terracotta and some chess. And I want to do eight totals of these. I think six. Okay. Six total six total chests we're going to run with the six terracotta and the stone up top so then these guys are going to actually come around and we'll put them here 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 and there and that one there okay and now these are storage so we can pump stuff in and out of these and that that'll work for storage so that'll work really nice and now finally uh, this is looking kind of bad back here so let's go ahead and put these uh these kind of kitchen corners in here and that's just nothing more than terracotta and stone and we only need a total of two of those and we've got those right here and where's our there we go okay and that's going to be something like this and like this so now we've got two edges and I don't know how these go in here, so we're gonna have we may have to oh they come in there pretty nicely. Nope, not really there. Okay. And how about this way? There we go, perfect. So we now have a pretty nice little kitchen. I think so. And we'll move this out of here. Okay, so that's the first thing. The next thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to get underneath and we're gonna need to set up kind of I hate to say it like this, but the killing station. So we need to breed these guys and we need to we kind of need to schlack them. So there's something we're going to have to do. Um, you know why that didn't connect? Because there's no power going to that thing right there. I wonder if it's got to come up to the side. Well, let's just try this here. If it comes on the back. There. Yep. There it is. Okay. That's perfect. Okay. So it's got to go in the back side of it. Lesson learned. That's pretty good. I'm, I'm glad to see that. And honestly, we could probably do the same thing here and where's that at oh there it is okay and come on there it is little bit a little bit of block lag there okay perfect and i just want to check it out see if i remove too much junk up here as we did it so everything doesn't look too weird no it doesn't look too bad it's kind of odd but it works okay so it's all half power and they should start working here uh it'll collect them up hopefully yeah perfect it's gonna hold them in there and will it st oh it's gonna plant them too oh i'm actually in love i am so in love now this is great and then we'll do the back same thing with this one back here uh while we let's get it let's just set it up while we do that so lessons learned that's got to go into the back side of that thing so uh let's remove this block and we'll take this down here. Ooh, that's dark as dark as I'll get out. So, yeah, all right, let's come underneath and we'll finally hook up the power to that one. And the great thing is, is all of these will be kind of working as we as we go. Uh, that should be about right here. 
Uh, okay, one back here. Oh, not what I wanted to do. Oh, that's a that's a that's a rookie mistake there, huh? <laughs> no, no, not really. It's all good. It is all good. Let me just replant that right here. Uh, oh, after we put some stone down. Okay, so I got our dank knoll, and we'll just we'll place this right there like this. No, there. And there goes our farmer. Now we know that we just remove that. Okay, cool. And so we'll hook that up. And then the final thing we'll do is we'll come back in on these things and we'll hook up, uh, we'll, we'll have the stuff pull out of them and it'll, it'll go to it. So real simply here, we'll just need to connect this back here. And one, two, and if we run out, don't worry about it. I've got some more. No, we're perfect. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, I, I'm doing okay tonight. Okay, here we go. So down here, we're gonna do carrots on this side and we're gonna do wheat on this side. Uh, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we've already done is we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do a little, uh, eh, what do we call them, a little farmers. And the farmers again, uh, come back in here. This is just this. Uh, let's go upstairs. Let's turn with the atomic reconstructor, and we'll we'll, we'll get those. I gotta I gotta watch out for the fur balls. Those just kind of collect in your inventory pretty easily. Okay, there's those. So now we can do that. Okay, so we should have two farmers. Okay, perfect. And these guys are gonna go downstairs here, and they're not gonna be anything super awesome. They're just gonna go right here like this and over here like this. Okay, I've got some worms already down here, so I've got two worms. I don't need a huge area down here, but we need a little bit of an area for them to be able to, to farm. Um, we can go ahead and put the seeds over there and we'll put the carrots down. And the carrots are gonna go on this side. Oh, I don't wanna eat you. And the seeds will go over here for the wheat. Okay. Okay. So now the next question is how are we gonna we're gonna how are we gonna put it with uh, power? So we're gonna take some of these what do we call them? These energy laser relays. We're gonna place one there, and we're gonna try one right here. Okay. And then we'll, we'll connect it with this to this and see if this gives us power. So that's getting us power, which is pretty cool. And then we're gonna do the same thing right here. Okay. And there to there. All right, is this getting power too? Yes, perfect. Okay, so these guys are now getting power. I just thought we'd do it a little differently and I didn't want to run stuff otherwise. Uh, the next thing we need is a feeder, again, from Actually Edition. So the feeder is gonna look something like this with just wood, some wood casing, golden carrots, and basic coils. So I've actually, let me kind of clear some of the inventory here just so I don't get lost as I pull it all down. Uh, that can go back in there and this can go back in here uh, this is all the stuff we need right here the wood casings I've actually found so I've been pretty lucky about that um, and the, oops I need one more carrots uh, you nope we can go over here okay great I, I miss I miss grab my carrots out of there I just need one of y'all you got any in there no we don't yet so I'll take you. Thank you. And what we're going to do down here now is, is to start this, we're going to need to do some golden carrots. So we'll need four, three and four. And then basic coils are just black quartz and the Restonia crystals. We should need two of those, one and two. And then finally, we should be able to knock this out once we get some planks there. And what am I missing here? Oh, we need more basic coils. Okay, cool. That'll give us a chance to kind of to build a couple of those. Now the basic coils are nothing more than we need some of this black quartz ore, and we need a little bit of. Uh, we'll just take a block of redstone here. And so you should, to get your most bang for your buck out of these, you need to grind them down. But I don't have anything yet to really grind yet, so I'm just gonna throw them in the furnace and it gives us a return of one to one. Not a big, you know, it's not the best, but I'm really slow, guys. I really, really am. So 
Uh, we've got those, and then let's throw out here in front of this, we'll throw our block of redstone in front of our atomic reconstructor, pop the button, and there we now have a Restonia crystal block. And then we'll drop back down underneath here and finish up these feeders here that we've got. Okay, so that's just something like this. And here we go. Two here in the middle, we'll go one and two, two, two here, and here, and here, and here. Okay, those are our basic coils, and there is our second automatic feeder. So the automatic feeder, we're just gonna put them in here in the middle. And there's one, and here's one in here too, okay? Um, what we wanna do next is we wanna pump out whatever's found, whatever's in here. And we're gonna wanna place it out of this over into there. And so we're just gonna, I'm just gonna try a transfer node here. Take it to the ceiling and bring it in here. Oh, get back in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Yeah. Okay. Forget you. You can get out. Okay. Because <laughs> that's why we have a golden lasso down here. And there we go. There you go. All right. So as that goes, it should feed into here. And it should kind of help feed these guys. So, yeah, that'll work. And I don't know. I didn't know how much we've got, but... So it, it should work in there once they get it, then it takes them being close. Now we're gonna do the same thing here, okay? And I hope that this works for all the different animals, the different mobs, you know? Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, so as long as they're close, that'll work. Um, if we run out of carrots, we've got some more to get. Uh, but the next thing we wanna do is some sort of killing chamber. I hate to say it that way, but it's kind of what it is. Uh, we'll move this out here. And what we're going to do is do that right here. And so right here, we're going to put a mechanical user and our mechanical user is going to take redstone, uh, this and this, and we'll just craft that. It looks something like a dropper first. Uh, so we've got a dropper. We need a lever or a lever, however you'd like to pronounce it. And then this uh, resto resonating redstone crystal. So we now have one said mechanical user. Okay, and we place him there. And I'm gonna wanna stand back out of this because I'm gonna put a sword into this. Uh, just a straight up iron sword. And we can, we can upgrade it at some other point in time. Uh, we're gonna wanna have it uh, use, uh, uh, use item and left click and upper left slot always on now if i run up here it should hit me okay should and place block use item on block activate redstone on just a second here we get it fixed entity generic Maybe it's not gonna hit me anymore. Should be a left click. So, oh, we need grid power. Easy enough, we can do that still. Okay, uh, the last thing we're gonna do down here before I go and get any grid power is we're gonna just set up some hoppers, okay? And we're gonna set up a chest. So let's move all of this stuff out of here. And we're gonna take this chest and we're going to place it down here okay and then with this we're just going to place just typical normal hoppers in here and we could have done it a different way um but that is going into that right yeah okay great but i just wanted to use hoppers um and this we could have done something else but we're just going to use hoppers for right now and then we'll just place over this here and uh, you get the you get the idea about the red, right? Yeah. Okay, that'll still open, so that's perfect. Okay, and then what I'll do is we'll take this. We'll come down after these guys breed. We'll just place them in here manually. Okay, so give me just a second here, and I'm going to go and get some grid power set up.
We're not going to need a lot, but we're going to need just a bit, I think. Uh, maybe not. Let's just double check. I really don't think we do. There we go. Okay, generic click. And that should... Place block, use item. Uh, we may want to move that up. So it's all a testing thing here. Let's pull the sword out before I get hit with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? That would be miserable. And uh, here we go. There's that. Okay, so this isn't working right. If that goes in there, it should go all the way over here. So I might be placing these wrong. Let's just double check it. I can't really see underneath here. Here we go. If I want to, if I remember right, it should be something like this. So, yes, there we go. So perfect. Let's just redo these real quick. Lesson learned. And uh, not there, please. Would you help us out and quit making us feel so miserable today here? So there's that. There's that one, that one, and this one. And then this one, this one, and this one. And our last red carpet's in there, so. There's these guys. And. Yes, left click. Place block, use item on block. Activate. It should hit us. It's probably going to kill me. How miserable would that be? You get smoked by your own thing. So, there we go. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. Okay, so let's remove that. And let's move this down one just a bit. Right there. And see entity. Left click. Uh, let's heal real quick before we try this one more time. This is all in the name of science, by the way. There we go. Heal, please. And see, you guys, why I'm trying to do this? It's miserably slow. All right, here we go. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, that's going to work. And there we go. So once we start getting some, some guys and some people alive... Uh, well, they'll get some some breeding done and things will be good. So we'll go back up here and the last thing we want. What do you do? Oh, <laughs> you didn't like our mechanical user over there, did you? Come on back over here, bud. <laughs> oh, he wasn't a happy camper. That's for sure. Good thing. All right, sit, please. Thanks. Well, that's good to know that the dogs really don't like that. So then the last thing we need to do up top here is let's pump in everything that's getting picked up outside here and we're going to put it back into our system here so this our little building here is going to be a little bit messed up but that's okay uh, let's go here and we go here and so we should be able to go there oh perfect look at that and here and hopefully it'll come off the side yep there it goes okay and you should see that it is going inside here into this countertop right Oop, not that there we go so okay cool so now it gives you everything we can do right cool and that's what we're gonna do with everything so give me just a second I'm gonna I'm gonna run around here and get this all fixed up and uh, I'll, uh, I'll be right back with you guys Okay, so the last couple things we need to finish up here is one, I want to I want to take you guys around. I'm going to show you a couple things. First, uh, these plant is a 9x9, nine nine, right? So it kicked out of the way out. You guys saw that. So just replace that. Now it's going to only do inside there. Um, one other thing I've noticed with this, and I'm sure you guys will note me on it, is, is that say like this here, it's going to take filling up all the way here before it ever pushes anything over here as the overflow. This is supposedly the seeds and then this is the outflow of it. But I think if I do this at, on each one of these that I don't want, like that one, the onions, 
Uh, I've got the onions up here set that away too. Um, when it hits 60, when it hits 64, it'll automatically kick the other ones into here. And so that should keep that. And then also those beans back there. So that should help speed that up a bit. But some of it's going to be just we got to wait a bit. Uh, the last thing looking here, we need to do a tool rack. Okay. And so the first thing with the tool rack is going to be something like this. And uh, we're just going to make some planks, three planks and two iron nuggets. And that should now, we'll just place that there. I think we want to place that right here. Okay. Uh, within that we can set some tools um, so if we look at at how we're gonna actually get to crafting this stinking thing we look here and we're gonna look at chili dog for instance okay and so first thing is let's start with the chili okay the chili is gonna need to be a pot and and the beef so pot is going to be a stick and four bricks okay a stick and four bricks is this and we'll craft this this way is that a special stick no it just had to be up top there okay so now I think we can place that pot right in here uh, where did that go no there okay so we can place that in there now it should open up some different recipes for us okay uh, the next thing we're going to want to look at, okay, we got a pot here to make bread. Okay, to make bread, we're going to need to make dough. And dough is going to be in a mixing bowl. A mixing bowl is going to be three planks and a stick. And so I've got three, uh, three planks and a stick. Craft that up. Uh, one, two, uh, let's do it right where it was supposed to because it looks like it's kind of being thickly. So one mixing bowl. And I don't think the mixing bowl goes in here. It does not look like it. So instead we'll place it over here. Okay. Now we may need a couple more of those, uh, but here we go. So we're looking at this. Uh, so the dough and a bucket. Okay. Hopefully the water automatically feeds in here. Uh, flour. Okay. We're gonna need a mortar and pedestal. Easy should be. So a mortar and pedestal is going to be uh, here we go. Let me show you all this a mortar and pedestal is stone with a stick and I got stone with a stick here and we'll craft that stone with a stick. Okay. And place it there. Okay. Let's see now if that allows us. Okay. Click again to craft so we can craft that. Okay. That's cool. That is really cool then. Uh, the next thing that we're, we're just kind of going through each one of these methodically, uh, to get this, we're going to need salt, salt, we're going to need a pot and water. So can we get salt out of this yet? Salt, uh, click again to craft. Okay. I want to take this bucket and I want to put it up in here. See if it affects this now. Here we go. Let's try salt again click recipe okay so we can craft the salt uh, we should be getting pretty close to being able to do bread and then finally we're gonna need that should get us dough right because uh, we got our mixing bowl up there and no what what might be missing okay so we've got some of those and I'll just place that up in here all right uh let's see here bread and then let's do some bakeware and bakeware is going to look just eight bricks around itself like this okay and now can we put the bakeware into here it looks like we can okay cool um bread not enough ingredients just yet okay well forget that guy in there let's just try making some salt okay is that that does not get us any further here yet so see this is all stuff I am brand new and using and I'm kind of curious about it okay so let's try flour well that now gets us dough okay dough okay 
I can't believe that I'm going to have to craft each one of these up. There's got to be an easier way. Can we do this in the fridge? Thank you. Okay, so we've got dough. Now we can get the bread. Bread. Okay. Seems easy enough, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, raw pork. Okay, cool. Let's work with the chili now. Uh, chili, we're missing. We should have the beans and we need steak. Okay, we've got the steak in us, on us. And, ooh, extreme chili. Ooh, my. Uh, okay, so beans, the pot, and the steak. Let's put some steak over here, too. Oh, my gosh. Look at the onions go. Okay, noodles. Okay, chili right there. Perfect. Okay, so we can craft that. Click it again. Oh, look at that. All right, let's eat some chili real quick and see how that does it. Oh, my. That's really nice. And we can do chili again. Okay, cool. Uh, what we want to do also is probably fill that with... Let's go and put some coal in there and see how that helps with things. I've got some coal right here. Okay, because we'll load that up and just so that it works. Okay, there you go. All right, beautiful. So then for an actual chili dog, we need to do a cutting board. And the cutting board is going to be sticks and planks and bricks. And I know I was all back on that, but steak brick and planks and that okay so we're gonna need to create another one of uh, another little thing uh, storage shed there I can't even think of it and one two and we should be able to do that here we go and tool rack is what it is and there we go and we'll just place you there okay cool so let's make some well I guess we don't have any 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 pigs yet uh, one two let's let's make some pigs here real quick let's see if this works one did you get some loving too oh there we go we got we got the pig loving and you guys get a little baby one yet yeah you did oh that's so nice okay and let's just try it this way. Let's grab this. We'll take you. And I can't do that. And we'll place you in here. And okay. Ooh. Ooh, look at all that. I know that's pretty rough. But that's what we're gonna kinda do for a while. And then we just place that over here. Okay. So now that should allow us cooked pork. If we make bread, we should be able to make a hot dog. There we go. So we might have to make a bunch of this at the same time. Hot dog. There's a hot dog. And let's throw that in there. And let's make some chili. And guess what we now have? We now have one said chili dog. Boom. Look at that. That easy. That took a little bit of time. That took a lot of time, actually. But I think it's well worth it. Um, as this stuff goes and everything works out, we should be sitting pretty good. So I'm excited. I'm really excited about this. This is all going to fill up. We'll have everything in here. We'll probably get beef and stuff or stuff put to there but yeah, yeah we're good. look at this you can even see it in there that's cool that is really cool so hey y'all hey thank you i appreciate it hey my name's c scott today we made chili dogs with all this crazy stuff so hey until next time i do appreciate y'all coming out and i especially appreciate you staying through the entirety of this because what a, this is a long one and i apologize but we'll catch you all again very very soon.